Scenes like this one became common during the pandemic. Racing and caravanning on city streets and highways, groups taking advantage of the open roads made available as more people stayed home. But as our state reopened, this dangerous trend did not go away, leading to deadly consequences. THV 11's Ashley Godwin spoke with a man who knows the racing scene, all new tonight at 10. He shares what's changed and how he thinks police can help crack down. The only thing changed is the people. Cash Johnson is the creator of Little Rock Hood News, an independent blog that tracks what's going on in the capital city. Man, what it do, man? One of his most viewed stories, car shows, events where drivers gather on streets and in parking lots to show off their rides. We spoke to him two years ago during the pandemic when these car shows were popular. He says they still happen, but they are very different now. People that see us posting, that want to just come out and see it, they'll come out and see it. But the new people that they bring with them, they bring guns and all type of stuff, man. It's been times I've done been sitting in the car and three kids walk by me with AR rifles. <laughs> Johnson was there when several people were shot, two of them killed during an event on Asher Street back in March. I was just sitting on the side, you know, everybody doing their thing. All I heard was, I heard a fully automatic weapon go off. <laughs> this is an Instagram video of that shooting. You got a girl laying in the bushes. You got people just in the roadway, it's just so much chaos. He knew one of the victims that was shot and killed that night. He was crawling to his truck, and uh, but by the time he got to his truck, I think he died at his truck. That week, LRPD Assistant Chief Andre Dyer went in front of the Board of Directors describing what led up to the shootings. From what I understand, we had to clear the park of about a thousand vehicles. LRPD made it clear they were aware of the possibility of a quote, Sunday fun day, a term used to describe caravanning events like the one that weekend. Assistant Chief Dyer said multiple officers were off that day and there was not enough patrol on the streets like they originally scheduled. There could have been a lot of lives taken out there on that night, but thank God uh, the number of lives that were taken was limited and I'm not selling that short. Following what happened, the department said they would add more patrols during the weekends while the weather gets warmer. We asked for an interview with the assistant chief. He declined to talk to us. While LRPD could not answer our specific questions, they provided a statement confirming they are teaming up with other agencies to stop high-speed street racing, saying, while the joint effort aims to stop illegal street racing and caravanning, the detail will not interfere with day-to-day -day operations or calls for service. Pulaski County and state police are helping with these efforts. State police told us the efforts called Operation Safe Streets started May 12th. We're targeting aggressive drivers, we're targeting speeders, drunk drivers, and we're also targeting people that are engaging in criminal behavior. Earlier this month, state troopers arrested 610 people during that Operation Safe Streets. Among those charges, speeding, DUI, drugs, and illegal weapons. No. They need to amp up patrol where these people are being killed at. Johnson says it's not enough for police to simply respond to complaints at these car shows. They need to take it a step further. The only way I can I can say that Little Rock PD can help is, is they have to put people in our community to patrol in our community that actually live in our community. In Little Rock, Ashley Godwin, THV 11 News. A lot to work on there, a lot to work on, and there have been three deaths related to racing, according to Arkansas State Police.